Hello and welcome to another video on how to secure yourself financially. So here, what I'm going to do today is to, uh, what is this? Wait, what? Oh, not because this is a mobile version. Okay. So what I'm going to do is uh, jump straight forward to the MDNA. So thanks to this set, the Security Exchange Exchange Commission, that actually create this beginner guide to financial statement. So if you're able to read nutritional labels or read baseball markers, you can learn the basic part of financial statements and you can learn to read them and if you can and if you're able to follow a recipe or apply for a loan you can learn the basic of accounting and the basic they aren't difficult so the deal the year of this section right is to gain you perspective and understanding much like when you look at the cpa course this carter pulmonary resuscitation where they allow you to perform basic CPR, but they won't train you to be at a current doctor. The same for this. The important to learn the basics so you can move on to the next topic. Or the important to learn the fundamentals here. Well, <clears throat> so the whole point of this is that, <clears throat> Jesus, sorry. So the whole point of this is that when you're able to see a set of financial statements, you can make sense of them. And that this uh, financial statement, after all, they show you the money. And there are four types of them. The balance sheets that show what a company owns and what it owes at a fixed point in time. The TLDR is, it is a snapshot of the company assets, liabilities, and shareholders' equity. The income statement that show how much money a company made or sorry, how much money a company made or spent over a period of time. So the bottom line of this show that uh, and you can think of that as a set of stair that you start with at the top of the stair with the total amount of revenue and once you go down each step the stair you make a deduction associated with earning that cost so broadly speaking you start with a total amount of revenue and then you deduct things like merchandise returns and you know, discounts to reach to the net revenue and then you make another deduction uh, such as the cost of sales among other type of sales uh, and other expense to reach to the gross profits. And then this is when you deduct things like operating expense. So how much money costs you to run your business, your day to day, your day, -to -day activities, whether it's administering salaries or <coughs> uh, marketing campaigns, as well as developing or improving prototypes and then you reach to the operating profit before interest and income taxes and interest are uh, most of the time place where you as a company take loans or issue loans to others uh, and you earn a, an interest from that loan uh, so, for example, money market funds allow you to do that. And then you also make deductions like amortization and depreciations. So once you deduct is the interest, you now reach to the income or uh, operating profits before income taxes. And income taxes are taxes that you own to your uh, the government and this is something important because uh, especially you should have as little as possible income taxes 
and delegate the vast majority of that to corporate taxes. So this is a, a once you align yourself with the game, okay? So you have uh, very low income taxes, all right? Uh, to play the game of that, uh, and then you, all the, the vast majority of your cash now rely is on your business. So that's a good strategy here. Or that's an strategy that most of the real estate or real yeah, most of the real estate, sort of, sort of speaking. Uh, yeah, most of the real estate and that kind of people uh, actually do that. So, okay, that's good. That's great. And <clears throat> so this is the bottom line, or once you deduct the income taxes from the operating profit before, uh, from the operating profits, uh before income taxes was you reach to the uh, net income okay and then the cash flow which report is the company inflow and outflow of cash something that i need to do that for my own business okay so i need to keep track all of that income okay uh, there is a interesting web, an interesting platform that allows you to do that. That accounting platform, uh, known as Soho Books, this um, Indian multinational company uh, for accounting software, the Soho Books. Uh, so yeah, so I can keep track is much more my incomes. Okay, so this is the another thing that I have to do. Okay? Because after all, it's not about repeating myself. It's also applying what I have learned. Meaning is, uh, this is the another thing that I have to do. Okay, is keep track. Let me know what I'm doing here. This. Because I am focusing, I'm focusing on the execution of this. Okay. okay, I'm focusing on the execution on this. <clears throat> okay, uh, and I'm going to, this is the walking, and I'm going to, use to dedicate time yet tomorrow to that, meaning is to keep track incomes okay or record record income from or record income in soho books okay record income in soho book all right okay okay that's another reason why I'm recording this video is not only to show what I have, all the things that I have learned, but also apply that knowledge. Okay, cool. So, uh, Soho, Soho Books. All right. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, there's also another uh, software called, um, how do you call it, how do you call it? Quick book that allows you to do this, right? Quick book, quick book global, exactly. <clears throat> quick, quick, uh, quick book global. Manage everything in one place. Run, ready to run your business better with quick book online. And so it actually allows you to keep track all of your expense there's a quick book for every business okay features that help you to run your business invoicing expense bank feed gst and vat you know it's something that i'm quite familiar which is part of this operating liabilities okay, sell taxes okay so inventory 
capture and or organize receipt, mobile app, insight and reports. So okay. Um Uh, so this is see all features, multi-currency support, security, and switch to QuickBooks. Switch from zero Excel MEO Recon Desktop to on QuickBook Online. Mm -hmm. And when it comes to Soho Book, Soho Books, right? Which is an account, an online accounting software. Here, I think this is reading on. On JavaScript purely, so now they have their own CRM. Yeah, the query only accounting software built for your business, like this end to end accounting, easy collaboration, integrated platforms, receivables, payables, inventory, banking, time tracking contacts and reports this is free monthly annually professional and there you go powering thousands of business my distant assistant australia goes paperless using saw book his success story by Luz Zambello, mobile app developed in Germany. Out of the box integration <clears throat> with all of this. Soho CRM. Soho Analytics and that kind of thing. It also contains uh -huh, to see your cash flow. Talking about cash flow, my friend. <laughs> Here, all right? Accounting on the go, switch to smart accounting software with Soho Books. Okay. And these are index. Well, it is funny because they put this label but not the link to there. It also follows its best practice ISO, quality management system, ISO. And ISO. Ah, okay. ISO 9001. 20, uh, this is quality management system. Mm, security. In interesting this. Because, oh my god. Quality management system. ISO 9001. 2015. ISO EEC 27.0.17 Security Control for Cloud Service Protection of Personality Identifying Information And Information Security Management and They are GDP compliant uh, ISO is a standard uh, Internationalization, International Organization for Standardization, which is great for certain operations, which is great for certain op operations, but not to live a life. That's completely different. Mm, I, ISO 9001 and related standard for quality management mm -hmm. and related standard for environment management. Information security management. Interesting. Embracing net zero, a crucial step for towards a sustainable future. ISO joins the impact management platform as a new partner. What is cryptocurrency? Managing South Africa waters for a better tomorrow. Oh, you you actually need that by the way. <laughs> <clears throat> Uh, so okay, interesting. So let's try. So I got this QuickBook, this accounting software, 
and Soho Buff, which are a competitor. Okay, so I already opened a an account of this. So, um, so yeah. So yeah, and because of this, because I need to keep track of everything that happening is on my. Uh, Yeah, I will need is to learn more about Soho Book, which means is that I need is to uh, dedicate perhaps more about more time about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like mm -hmm. uh, how. How to how Soho Books works. This is something very very important. How Soho Books works. Mm -hmm. Yeah, completely, man. Yeah, you know, it's like okay from the theory that I have learned, and thanks for the sec the Security Exchange Commission to create this. Uh, and give me some insight of that. Now it is time to put at practice everything that I have learned so far. Okay? So everything that I have learned so far. Okay. Cool. So I dedicate time to that. That's something important, but not urgent. I'm also is following the Async Hour Matrix for decision making, you know? I'm slowly integrating all of these different concepts that I have learned and applied. So the Acing Howard Matrix comes from the how to become a business consulting freelancers. Uh, and yeah, okay. So now I'm taking is my business serious. Okay. Okay. The interesting. Very, very interesting. All right. So, 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 so. Okay. And to define it here or to talk about a little bit more the cash flow statement, uh, yes, it's a report that shows the company inflow and outflow of cash that reuse information from the income statement and the balance sheets. And it's important to have cash because after all, much like people, company need to have cash to pay this expense or to purchase assets. So this statement, the bottom line showed the net increase or decrease in cash and that's something crucial in your business <laughs> very very crucial especially uh, because right now i am a business consulting freelancer i need to have uh, i need to keep track and get full visibility of my cash flow totally in one centralized place Okay, I need to have that in front of my, in front of myself. All right, cool, cool. So, so, so this cash flow statement uh, review the cash flow from one of these activities. Okay, the operating activities. Investing and financing. So the operating, well, uh, it analyzes the net income from your income statements and conciliate with the total amount of cash that was used or perceived by operating activities. And the most common operating activities are operating assets and operating liabilities can be break down in that two categories. 
So we're operating assets. We have things like accounts, receivables, property plan and equipment, inventory, prepay expense, expense that company incur for good and service that has been for good and service that will be received over time. So for example, premium insurance like health, home, vehicle, liabilities, disability, long-term care, such as nurse health care or home health care, as well as marketing, rent, software license, maintenance contracts are another example of prepay expense, intangible assets such as patents, which are exclusive rights to inventors so they can manufacture and distribute, sell and distribute their invention over a period of time. The most interesting pattern that changed the world in 2020 that now is shaping the 2020, 21st century, maglev, this electromagnetic inductive system for stabilization in uh, yeah, the maglev. This electromagnetic inductive. This electromagnetic induct. This electromagnetic inductive and stabilization systems for ground vehicles. So for example, when you look, so China is uh, investing vastly in in, in this infrastructure. So you got ma the maglev that was patent in 1969 uh, in 1974 I mean no in 1969 if I recall that correctly GPS this global position of navigation or as a patterning called navigation system using satellites with passive ranging techniques issued in 1974 the electronic device or aka the iPhone issued in 2007 the Chris gene editing <clears throat> this gene editing tool now issued in 2014 <clears throat> the 3GPB which is the 3G partnership pro uh, 3G partnership pro project uh, which is an umbrella term that this is an umbrella term for several organizations that focus on developing and developing, implementing and maintain telecommunication protocols such as GSM or it is related to the uh, two generations. UMT is Universal Mobile Telecommunication System and it is related to 3D generation, the LLT the long-term evolution and it is related 4G generation as well as the uh, 5G -er and 5G uh, generation it is related 5G generations so this is something interesting uh, popular mechanics actually mentioned that where you can see that again this is something very very interesting uh, to know. Uh, also, I look at trademark, which are exclusive design words that uniquely identify this company from the competition. So, for example, now uh, Twitter has changed radically in its name and now it is rebranded as X. Period. <laughs> Rebrand that as X. Period. Highly minimalistic. <laughs> highly, highly, highly minimalistic. In another example is uh, of trademark is uh, it is famous quote from Michael Buffer: "Let's get ready to rumble." Copyright, which are exclusive rights to creator of original works so they can manufacturing sell 
and distribute and sell their invention over a period of time, such as McDonald's, Twitter now recently rebrand re as X, uh, Facebook, Spotify, Netflix, trade secrets, which are confidential data that company use to gain some competitive advantage over uh, process, formulas, or customer lists, goodwill, which is the brand recognition, reputation, and customer loyalty, as well as customer relationship, which is another example of intangible assets, okay? That's another example of intangible assets. And I also look at investment in affiliate, which is another example of operating assets, right? Uh, whether it is joint ventures, equity, investment, associates, limited partnerships, as well as cash and cash equivalents. When it comes to operating liabilities, you have things like Ooh. Oh, sorry, uh, accounts payable, accounts payable, uh, defer revenue, uh, yeah, accounts payable, uh, defer revenue, accrue expense, income taxes payable, whether it's corporate, withholding, or sell taxes as well as short-term borrowing, uh, notes payable, um, and warranty obligations. Again, this is just to mention is the most common operating activities that a business has. Okay? All right. So... And what it does, this section, this first part of the cash flow statement is conciliate that. And the way to do that is by adjust the net income for any non-cash item, meaning items that affect the income statement without any cash involved. So, for example, depreciation, amortization, or stock-based compensation, okay? as well as uh, any cash that was used or perceived from other operating assets and liabilities, okay? So the second section, which is the investment assets, generally involved in purchase of long-term assets, okay? The purchase or sell of long-term assets, such as property plan and equipment, investments, leaseholds, improvement, intangible assets. And when it comes to the financing activities, this actual focus is on how a company writes funds from investors or creditors and pays them directly to through capital markets. So this section helps to investors how often a company is raising funds and where this money are where this money is, where this money comes from, because if a, if a company cash operation comes, or if a company cash flow comes primarily from it is operating activities, that's a good sign of a good investment. However, if a company is constantly relying on taking out of debt or issuing equity, that might be not a good sign for that. And most of the time, generally speaking, that this type of, uh, how do you call it, uh, or business or, or financing activities involve is how a company writes funds from investors and creditors, retain debt, and distribute earnings. So you have issuing equity, which is an example of these financial activities. Issuing equity, issuing ownership. So, for example, when a company goes public, actually, it does that. All right. 
So issuing equity, <clears throat> good. The other is uh, issuing debt. So some financial instruments like temperatures, notes, payables, bonds, repayment death, repurchasing stocks, leasing, which is the, an, an agreement between a company uh, with another company that allowed to use certain assets, equipment, machinery without taking ownership of them. So this whole idea of this financial activity is something, all right, that uh, is it's also something very, very important to apply to understand. And that's one of the reasons that I'm dedicating time to uh, keep track my expense on my register all of these income activities or these financial transactions that I'm doing it in my business uh, and apply that okay I also look at the read the footnotes here whether it's a significant accounting policy and practice as well as the income taxes and pension and any other post-retirement programs and the stock options and the AMD which is the management discussion and analysis of financial conditions and result of operation this offer an opportunity to see from the management eyes important trends risks that have shaped the company or are reasonably likely to shape the company's future okay so if the so this sections provides much more context uh, and to investors about the financial statements and the company's earnings so with that that'll be all for this video take care Bye-bye.